words cannot describe how pretty this beach is. It's the Arabian Sea, it's the southwestern region of India, the western coast of an amazing country, it's Goa, it's another adventure, it's going to be truly, truly, truly epic. We'll be staying in the region of Kanakona with my wife's family. They would be introducing us to some of the really, really interesting spots around Goa. And from Kanakona, it's pretty central to all the amazing scenery. We'll leave links in the description below to some of the accommodation we would have considered if we had to. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. This is yet another beach paradise we are experiencing. In true go and form, we're going to start exploring all these wonderful beaches. Earlier, we crossed the Talpona River, enjoyed a stunning viewing point at the bridge there and ate at the picture restaurant. Fish curry, rice, chapati, cabbage curry and pickles. Oh, it was so delicious. What a stunning beach. We believe it's less pretty than the other beaches, but we're gonna enjoy the sunset here in the afternoon. Look at the beautiful rock formations and the nature which surrounds it. Bag is such an open and stunning beach. It's quieter than some of the other beaches we understand. So we're going to soak in the sunset and later closer to Kanakona where we're staying we're going to take a little drive down to Palalem Beach. It's quite vibrant and bustling over there and at Palalem Beach We'll experience a night market, meet a few of the local Goans, and have a really, really relaxed evening.
Good morning from Palalem. We're exploring the streets. We're going to show you around, grab some lunch, and explore Palalem Beach throughout the course of the afternoon. I can't believe that a beach paradise like this is only 400 kilometers from Mumbai. That's where we flew in from. There's so many food options on this main street here in Palalem, so we're just checking out the menus, having a stroll down the road and finding that perfect place to satisfy our stomachs. We came across Sai Krupa, authentic going in South Indian cuisine. Let's go in and check it out. To start off, we have an idli samba. It's made out of rice flour and there are two chutneys on the side, one being a coconut, the other one being tomato based and this was 80 rupees. It looks divine. This is utapam, looks like it's the same chutneys and it seems to be made from a dosa batter and this was 100 rupees. Again the colours are amazing and it smells delicious. For 180 rupees, this is a rava mackerel fry. And we had something similarly battered on the tali yesterday, the fish tali that is, and it was divine. Welcome to Palalim Beach, it's all about enjoying the warm waters of the Arabian Sea and the vibrant area. We're waiting with bated breath for the sunset here in Palalim. I'm sure it's going to take our breath away. If you climb up some of the rocks here at Palalim, you see the most magnificent views of the entire beach and that sunset, which seems to follow you wherever you look at it. Good morning from Chaudi. We woke up early, took a short drive from Kanakona and having an early breakfast because we've got a few activities planned in the Palalim region. <laughs> Where is this? And it's not like you're like giving the love in return. She's just like going for it. <laughs> 
here at Coastal Palette, for 40 rupees you can have a hearty breakfast. Pau bhaji. Pau is traditional Portuguese bread and the bhaji appears to have beans in some sort of curry sauce. A great way to start the day. We're out on the Arabian Sea. We left Palalim Beach, hired kayaks from Samson's kiosk. I have Monkey Island beside me, the Deccan Highlands in the background, rolling, rolling mountains. It's absolutely stunning. A gentle breeze, perfect way to start the morning. The waters of the Arabian Sea at this time in the morning is absolutely amazing. Samson's Kiox charges 150 rupees for an hour of kayaking and 300 rupees for two hours of kayaking. Come early in the morning, it's not so busy. The sun lights up the ocean, the waters are clear, the breeze is gentle. It would make for a very, very exciting experience. You can find Samson's Kiosk near Coco's on Palalim Beach. We're strolling towards Monkey Island, which is in the distance. But what adds to the atmosphere here are all these different colored boats, the backdrop of the mountains, and these beautiful waters. the Bliss Circus here in Goa. We were Sasha Ismail, Asia's youngest aerial silks instructor. He's certified, he's amazing. His acts are absolutely breathtaking. We're gonna take one of his classes. And the easy version is to start here. From here, I'm going to bring my knees up to my elbows and I'm going to hold for, let's say, 10 seconds. If you can do 15.
today we're in Agonda, about 10 kilometers from Kanakona, 20 minutes on the scooter. So yeah, that's how we get in around. On a scooter, uh, organized by Sasha Ismail, my wife's cousin, as it turns out. And it's really convenient to get around on a scooter. You can get to where you need to go. There's so many wonderful beaches and activities to do in and around Kanakona within a 10 kilometer radius. So that's why we stationed ourselves there. We're having a meal at a Gonda Corner Momos. So those are Tibetan dumplings, steamed or fried, various fillings, spinach and cheese, prawn, chicken. Yes, we're trying out a lot of the local places with authentic Goan cuisine and it hasn't disappointed yet. Those momos at Agonda Corner were divine. They cost between 220 and 320 for quite a few momos per plate. So check out Agonda Corner if you're here in the Agonda region, but now it's South Goa. So what that means is we're heading to yet another beach and we're really excited for this one. At Agonda Beach, you can find these hidden little beaches if you walk towards the rock formation. The waters here are extremely calm and the vegetation alongside the beach overlooks the ocean at a very close distance. truly truly peaceful and relatively untouched beach beyond those stunning secluded beaches you take a short path very short walkway about four to five minutes and we're going to experience yet another sunset in south goa this time it's here at agonda Good morning from the Netra Valley, about 45 minutes scooter ride from Kanakona. We're going to embark on a hike. We stopped at the Lakshmi Tea Store for a cup of tea and some breakfast. It's Bhaji Pal. It's going to fuel us for the day. The mountains here are magical. Wrong 
halfway through the four and a half kilometer hike to my nappy falls small sections of downhill a lot of uphill but it's basically a jeep track so the terrain is not too unstable and it's quite compacted and there's not a lot of unevenness around so so that has helped a bit but yeah the uphills are still quite challenging but luckily it's early in the morning it's not even nine o'clock in the morning so it's been quite manageable so far let's get going Five minute ride from the Netravali Wildlife Sanctuary. We're at Tanshika Spice Farm. I can still feel the mountain breeze and we're gonna have lunch here. This vegetable tali at Tanshika Spice Farm is about 300 rupees per person and it's buffet so you can have as much as you like. There's dolls, rice, moon doll, roti, and a few other accompaniments.
always so bustling here, even early on in the day in India. We're in Chaudi, a kilometer and a half away from Kanakona. Wherever we visit, we always like to immerse ourselves in the local way of life. So we're visiting the market, we're going to take a walk through it, see the fresh produce that's on sale here and a few other goods, but it's really good living the local way of life. waters at Talpona Beach look really good today so we're first gonna have lunch and then we're gonna see where we are gonna swim and enjoy the beach You can hear the breeze. We're stepping out onto Galgibaj Beach, short drive from Telpona, and after that amazing lunch from the pictures, these waters are really, 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 really calling our names.
Often an amazing swim at Golgi, but we decided to come here, Patnam, for yet another sunset. We're at a place called Sunset Point, and Patnam is only about 4.2 kilometers from where we're staying in Kanakona. And a great, great sunset point. And hopefully, today we get to see a touchdown. We're back in Kanakona, this time we're at Charasta. It's basically the main road here in Kanakona. And yes, it's time for some street food. Pani Puri, I believe. Let's check it out. This is your Pani Puri For only about 20 rupees you get all this goodness Spice, accompaniments, crunch, everything you need morning from Anjum. We took a two-legged bus trip from Kanakona to Margao was about an hour and then from Margao to Anjum which is the capital city of the state of Goa. We're going to spend a day here in the city, check out some attractions and just immerse ourselves in the local life. So the city of Anjum is about 60 to 70 kilometers from Kanakona and the bus trip there per leg costs about 40 rupees per person per leg so about 80 rupees for the full hog from Kanakona all the way to Andrew. We're now at the Panjim Market and we've stumbled across all this fish. Of course being in the state of Goa, fish is something that you'd find in abundance. Only about 150 rupees. I've changed my look entirely with this hat. And now we're strolling through the market and seeing what's on show here.
we were about to set foot into the bigger market here in Panjim. It looks massive from the outside with <laughs> quite a wide range of fresh produce and other goods. Let's check it out. Almost lunchtime. There are a lot of eating establishments in and around Panjim City. We're walking towards one of them now. And yeah, after a morning of walking around, this lunch is going to be very, very welcome. Matsya Sagar. We're having a fish tali, boneless butter chicken and a chicken rogan gosht and they're about 200 rupees each really good portion sizes three of us in a rickshaw and we're on our way to Fontanas from the region of the market it's a short little rickshaw ride and it was 150 rupees it's really hot in here, but yeah, we're getting to see a bit more of that trip. So we've taken a bit of a pit stop now. Never talk on your phone and ride. So this is proof that rickshaws are 100% safe. Here in Fontanias, you can marvel at some of the architecture and the Portuguese influence. So that's what we're doing now. Exploring all the colorful buildings with the Portuguese influence and the patina on the exterior of these buildings adds to the character. Every corner you take, there's another colour waiting for you. exploring the area of Fontanias. We're now heading back to the bus station where we'll be catching the bus back to Margao. But the colors were so vibrant in this region and we really enjoyed our walkabout. Hello from Kola Beach. Yes, another beach here in South Goa. The cliffs here are absolutely jaw-dropping. We're walking down a steep walkway 
and gonna experience Kola Beach and the wonderful surroundings that South Goa has to offer. Oh, we're stepping out onto Kola Beach for the first time. Have a little stroll with us. Look at these views. Can't get enough of this here in South Goa. Words cannot describe how pretty this beach is forest on the right, rock formations down here, and a stunning coastline. Goa, India, that's a wrap. What an incredible adventure. We travel not only to explore the regions that we visit, but to grow as individuals. We have retained a small special place in our hearts for Goa. Goans are so welcoming. The food is absolutely incredible. The nature, the many beaches to choose from. It's an absolute beach paradise and I don't think it's the last time we'll be back in India. Who knows where our next adventure will take us. Check out our beach destinations, playlists, like and subscribe to our channel, and let us know in the comments where our next beach destination should be. Cheers.